morning, Las Vegas. I'm doing a couple more house chores today. I came back into the city from my sweet camping spot, which was fun, but uh, I gotta get down to work. You know, I did some uploading this morning, sat in a coffee shop for three hours, did a lot of work, got it all pouring away for the next uh, few days, so that's good. And uh, now I'm at AutoZone because they actually, this is the thing, I waited until I got to the southern United States because the parts down here are so much cheaper. Uh, I need a new brake rotors. I've got the pads already. They've been sitting around for a long time though, so they're probably gonna wear in a bit weird, but I've got pads. I just need new rotors. My rotors are toast. They warped during the Smoky uh, Mountains and then uh, they've just been wearing pretty quick ever since. So there's a nice big groove into them. They're, they're, pretty, they're done. So I'll be replacing that all in this parking lot. And I ordered the parts. Get it, $110, per rotor back home. Guess how much they are here? $35 each. So that's why I waited. And uh, might as well swap them out today, right here, right now. I'm using. It's like a socket wrench that's got a through piece and I just put the bolt in such a way that now I can't get the wrench out. Hopefully the bolt will come all the way out because then I can get my wrench back out again. And I'm going to put the bolt back in get it out a different way. That's extremely frustrating. There's that old rotor with the big lip on it. New one. Loads of rotor. Old. New. Old brake pad. New brake pad. Admittedly, it'd be nice if I had my own garage and a place to really work on it, but working in a part in a parts store um, parking lot ain't the worst thing in the world, as long as you don't get kicked out. Uh, point in case, case in point. Bearings, bearing seals, all these things I didn't know that I would need. Extra grease, I didn't know I'd need it. Big old bottle of brake fluid, I didn't know I'd need that, so I bought, bought it right away, but all those things I didn't know, so it's nice to uh, be right next to the shop where I can go buy them. And down here, it's so cheap. I mean, the seals were three bucks. Bearings were $7.99. Like, you can't beat that. All right. There's the carnage. That's the new one. Bled, be bearing, new bearings, new seals, new rotor, new pads. Bled, packed, and ready to go. All right. Now I gotta do the other wheel. So while I'm working as a mechanic, like my rate by the hour is such that it's totally worth it for me to pay a mechanic to do this for me. But um, the thing is, while I'm on the road, like this is my house and I wanna know what went into it and how to fix it if it breaks down in the middle of the Mojave, you know? So I like to think that this skill set has prepared me for life on the road. Guys, I'm exhausted. That was so much work. It was so much more work than I thought it was gonna be. But at least it's done. Um, the brakes smoke a little bit now because I guess they had some, I tried to clean them as best I could but I guess there's still some fluid on there anyway. Uh, I'm just gonna chill out for a bit. I went back to the same spot I was before, Lake Mead. Got my hammock, got a beer, got some music. I'm gonna watch this sunset. Because uh, honestly, I just don't have energy for anything else. Maybe I'll throw a stick champ, just once or twice. Bye. Bye. Hi. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Oh my God, he's happy. 
oh, well, he doesn't have to change all the bearings and the seals and the brake pads and the rotors. What'd you do today, champ? Huh? That's what I thought. I feel so much better. What are you doing? Good morning. I woke up a little cold this morning because the furnace has blown through another fuse. So obviously this is something I can't just patch with more fuses. There is an issue deep down inside. Not out of the woods yet with that furnace, but hopefully by the time this video posts, I'll have figured it out. But for today, I am going back into Las Vegas just to pick up the last couple parts I need. Because um, some of them had to be shipped overnight to me. And then I'm going to do some repairs, do some uploading, and I'm going to head out to Death Valley. Because I want to check out Death Valley, and then I'll go around and make my way eventually down to Lake Havasu to meet up with Sam. Do you remember Sam? Sam with the Jeep? Yeah, meeting up with him, I'm so excited for that. It's gonna be nice to see somebody from the from the hometown, you know. Um, plus, he's, he's become a really cool friend of mine, which is really nice, like, that this this YouTube, like, making the videos and also, like, the living the van life has, if I put the effort in to, like, reach out and, and constantly be, like, communicating with people, it's opened up a whole new community for me, right? Of just, like, new friends, a new family of people who are, like, interested in what I'm doing and I'm interested in what they're doing and we're keeping tabs on each other and it's really cool because this time last year when I was traveling I wasn't like that at all um I have my family back home to communicate with but that was about it I didn't really have like friends that were out on the road or, or I didn't wasn't meeting up with anybody that I knew and yeah it just it was a little bit colder and here it just feels more fulfilling like there's just more going on and it's nice it's a good feeling Lake Mead is gorgeous. Um, where I parked up, I was right next to a water pump station last night, which sounds like a bad thing, but it was actually really nice because the humming noise just put me right to sleep. It was like 8.30 p.m. I was out. And that's my, that's my uh, MO lately. I've been going to sleep pretty early because and I have full days and I do a lot of stuff in a day. I get pretty tired. And I'm usually waking up at like 5 a.m. every morning, so... Um, yeah, I don't know. I got a really good rest last night, though. I didn't even make it up to the bed. I slept here on the couch with Jam. Yeah, we didn't make it up to the bed. Too tired. Alright, let's hit the road. I find nothing much to say. Don't know what to do. But I come To the beautiful Red Rock Canyon. Champ and I uh, decided that uh, Las Vegas is kind of over it to be honest. I had a couple like little hidden gems that I wanted to check out. Gems. But like they were like a pizza place and uh, you know I just wasn't feeling it. And maybe later on like especially when I get to California or to Baja I'll be eating a lot more food out. And I know I will be in Santa Fe but uh, you know what, Las Vegas, not really particularly known for good food, and that's okay. I'm, I'm over it, but I am going to have lunch, and I'm going to make it here in the van in Red Rock Canyon. I don't know if this is uh, not a national park, or it's like a national recreational area or something like that, or if it's run by BLM, but for whatever reason, dogs are allowed, so Champ's coming with today. See, Champ, this is what I do when you're not around. I just walk down trails, sniff things.
go. One gigantic freaking curry. A little bit of bread. And a cold beer. Best way to cap off the day. Oh, I love the way the jalapenos break down and get into the flavor, but not too deeply because they're so fresh. Oh, it's so good. <laughs>